Welcome to the wild waters of Canada. Today we'll be diving into the lives of five fascinating marine animals that call Canada home. From majestic whales to mysterious narwhals, each of these creatures plays a vital role in Canada's marine ecosystem. Our first stop is with the beautiful beluga whale. Known for its white color and friendly, curious nature, belugas are a beloved sight in the St. Lawrence River and the Arctic waters of Hudson Bay. Belugas are called the canaries of the sea because they communicate with a variety of clicks, whistles, and chirps. Unlike most whales, they have flexible necks, allowing them to turn their heads to explore their surroundings. Adult belugas typically range from 3 to 5.5 meters, 10 to 18 feet in length, and can weigh between 702 to 1,600 kilograms, 1,500 to 3,500 pounds. Beluga whales are born dark gray and gradually turn white as they mature, usually by the age of five or six. Their white coloration provides excellent camouflage in their Arctic and subsidiary and cephalopods like squid and octopuses. They use echolocation to locate prey and can dive to depths of up to 700 meters, 2,300 feet, to forage. Belugas have flexible necks that allow them to move their heads in all directions, aiding in the search for food. The gestation period for belugas is about 14 to 15 months. Females typically give birth to a single calf, though twins have been reported. Calves are born in the spring or summer and are nursed for up to two years. Lifespan. Belugas can live for 30 to 50 years in the wild. Various measures are being taken to protect beluga populations, including habitat preservation, pollution control, and regulated hunting practices. Organizations and governments are also conducting research and monitoring to ensure the survival of these magnificent creatures. Belugas hold significant cultural importance for many indigenous communities in the Arctic, who have traditionally relied on them for food, tools, and clothing. Sustainable hunting practices continue to be an essential aspect of indigenous heritage. Beluga whales are popular in aquariums and marine parks worldwide due to their engaging behavior and striking appearance. Next, we have the powerful and intelligent orca, or killer whale. Found primarily along British Columbia's coast, orcas live in family groups known as pods and are highly social and cooperative hunters. There are two main types of orcas in Canada's waters, the resident orcas, which hunt fish, and the transient orcas, which hunt marine mammals. These incredible predators are known for their sophisticated hunting techniques and strong family bonds. Male orcas can grow up to 9 meters, 30 feet, in length and weigh up to 10,000 kilograms, 22,000 pounds. Females are smaller, reaching about 7 meters, 23 feet, and weighing up to 7,500 kilograms, 16,500 pounds. Males have a tall, triangular dorsal fin that can reach up to 1.8 meters, 6 feet, in height, while females and juveniles have shorter, curved dorsal fins. Orcas are apex predators with a diverse diet that includes fish, squid, seals, seabirds, and even other whales. They are known to prey on larger whales, such as gray whales and humpback whales, especially targeting calves. Orcas use sophisticated hunting techniques and often hunt in packs. They employ strategies such as creating waves to wash seals off ice flows, herding fish into tight balls for easier feeding, and coordinated attacks on larger prey. Female orcas reach sexual maturity between 10 and 16 years of age, while males mature at around 15 years. They have a gestation period of about 17 months. Females give birth to a single calf, which they nurse for up to two years. Calves stay with their mothers for life, creating strong family bonds. Female orcas can live up to 90 years, while males typically live up to 60 years in the wild. Various measures are being taken to protect orca populations, including habitat protection, regulations on marine traffic, and research on their behavior and ecology. Some populations, such as the southern resident killer whales, are listed as endangered. Orcas are popular in marine parks and aquariums, where they are often featured in educational programs and performances. However, there is increasing advocacy for the protection of orcas in the wild and against their captivity. 
Humpback whales are known for their spectacular acrobatics and haunting songs. Every summer, thousands of humpbacks migrate to Canada's Atlantic waters to feed on krill and small fish. These whales use a unique technique called bubble net feeding, where they blow bubbles to corral fish into a tight ball, making it easier to catch their prey. Humpback whales are large, growing up to 16 meters, 52 feet, in length and weighing around 36,000 kilograms, 79,000 pounds. Females are typically larger than males. Humpbacks have a robust body, long pectoral fins, up to one-third of their body length, and a series of knobbly protuberances called tubercles on their head and jaw. Their dorsal fin is small and varies in shape. Their annual migration can cover up to 25,000 kilometers, 16,000 miles, one of the longest migrations of any mammal. They travel between rich feeding grounds in the higher latitudes and warm breeding grounds in lower latitudes. They are famous for their complex and melodic songs, which can last for up to 20 minutes and be heard over great distances. These songs are thought to play a role in mating and communication. Female humpbacks reach sexual maturity at around 5 to 7 years of age. Breeding usually occurs in the warm waters of their wintering grounds. The gestation period is about 11 to 12 months. Females give birth to a single calf, which is nursed for up to a year. Calves are typically born in the warm, shallow waters of the breeding grounds. International protection measures such as the ban on commercial whaling by the International Whaling Commission IWC, have helped humpback whale populations recover. Continued efforts include monitoring populations, protecting critical habitats, and reducing human-induced threats. Humpback whales hold cultural and spiritual significance for many indigenous peoples, who often view them as symbols of strength, wisdom, and harmony. Gray seals are one of the most common marine mammals along the Atlantic coast. Known for their large, expressive eyes and playful behavior, they can often be seen basking on rocky shores or swimming near the water's edge. Gray seals are critical to the ocean's ecosystem, helping maintain balance by feeding on fish, crustaceans, and squid. However, their populations are affected by pollution and human activity, making conservation efforts essential. Their coloration varies, but they are generally gray with darker spots or patches. Males tend to be darker with more extensive spotting, while females are lighter and more uniformly colored. They are skilled hunters, using their whiskers, vibrissi, to detect the movements of prey in the water. They can dive to depths of over 70 meters, 230 feet, and remain submerged for up to 30 minutes while foraging. Gray seals are generally solitary when at sea but come together in large groups, known as colonies, during the breeding season and when hauling out to rest. They communicate through a variety of vocalizations, especially during the breeding season. Males are known for their loud, roaring calls used to establish dominance and attract females. The breeding season varies by region but generally occurs between September and December. Gray seals can live for up to 25 to 35 years in the wild, with females generally living longer than males. Females give birth to a single pup on land or ice, which they nurse for about three weeks. Pups are born with a white, lanugo coat, which they shed for their adult coat after about three to four weeks. Gray seals are protected under various national and international laws and agreements, including the Marine Mammal Protection Act in the United States and the European Union's Habitats Directive. Conservation efforts focus on habitat protection, pollution reduction, and sustainable fisheries management. Gray seals have been featured in various folklore and myths, particularly in Celtic cultures, where they are often associated with the Selkie legends, mythical beings that can transform from seals into humans. Our final marine animal is the elusive narwhal, sometimes called the unicorn of the sea. These arctic whales are known for their long, spiraled tusk, which is actually an elongated tooth that can grow up to 10 feet long. Narwhals are mysterious creatures, spending most of their lives in deep, icy waters. Scientists believe the tusk may be a sensory organ, helping narwhals detect changes in their environment, though its exact purpose is still not fully understood. Narwhals are medium-sized whales, with males typically growing up to 4.5 meters, 15 feet, long and weighing between 800 to 1,600 kilograms. Canada's waters are filled with incredible creatures, each with its own story and place in the ecosystem. 
By learning more about these animals, we can help protect their habitats and ensure they continue to thrive. Thank you for exploring Canada's marine wildlife with us. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us on our next adventure with Voyager Through the Time.